we'll start. Um, Rani, you've had this, you've had this incredible career. You've been, you've been working for, for I think this year you complete 27 years in the movies. Yes. Um, I counted as a leading lady. You've done roughly 45 films. I'm not counting the guest appearances, the you know the friend, the friendly appearances. Um, you won eight Filmfare awards. You've had a full career. And it doesn't look like you're um, in any mood to slow down, as you shouldn't. Um, your last film, this is Strategy versus Norway, uh, was a film that broke that myth that female-centric films won't work at the box office in a post-pandemic world. Those films were not working. Those content-driven films were not making a mark theatrically. Um, they were all mostly moving to streaming. And here was a film that came and did significant business at a time when those kind of films were not working. They were the tentpole action films that were only working at that time. If you could attribute, Rani, your success and the longevity of your career to one quality, what would that be? I think that one quality would be having faith. Mm. You know, to have faith in the audiences, to have faith in yourself, uh, the fact that we have to constantly work hard on ourselves to improve ourselves with each growing film or with each growing day. I think that's been my motto that whatever film I have done, I need to better that in my next film. And to have faith in the audiences that they will give you an answer, whether good, bad, ugly, great. Um, they are the real critics, yeah. you know, to so to say. And for them to tell us what they are liking, what they are not. And the audiences are the ones who actually tell us what the trend of um, the mood of the public is like. Right. You know, what are they kind of accepting? What are they talking about? What are they wanting to spend their hard-earned money on which content? You know, and they are the ones who tell us and decide our longevity. Right. You know, it's very interesting what you said. You said faith and, and, and that brings me to ask you, when it's no secret that when um, Mrs. Strategy vs. Norway was ready to be sort of shown to the world, uh, the producers had offers from s some of the big streaming platforms to go straight to digital, to go straight to streaming. That was the safe option at the time. Theatrically, those films were not working at the box office, but you all stuck your necks out. You all, you all had the faith and, uh, and, and you all were rewarded in the end. I want to ask you, what, um, what, what, what sort of, where did that faith come from? So interesting. It's not just about having faith that we made a good film. It's also about having the faith that, we, that people will come. Yeah. So uh, interestingly, when uh, Mrs. Chatterjee was offered to me, it was offered to me in the pandemic time. Uh -huh. But for some reason, I was very sure that when the film releases, it has to be a theatrical. You know, and that was put in my contract. Right. So also the makers. Um, were in a position, um, a little uh, strange position because when you put that on a contract, then they are bound to do what is meant in the contract. But, but I, um, at one point when there was so much discussion happening, at one point I did tell my makers that though you have this in the contract, I would not um, uh, enforce, it, yeah. enforce it or stop you from uh, wanting to do a di digital platform because as a producer, I want to be with you and I want to support my producers in the sense that if you feel that that would be a better business decision for you, then might as well. Because a lot of films that started pre-pandemic, in the pandemic time, they just decided to release it on OTT. Yeah. But this was a film offered to me in pandemic. I had put this uh, contractual clause that I need this to be a theatrical because I believe in the story. I believe that this film should reach out to as many people. Not that if it would stream on OTT, it wouldn't reach to a lot of people. But I think when a film releases theatrically, it has a lot more, um, I would say, excitement in terms of there is more um, a commitment from an audience that they decide to go, make a plan to go to watch the film as opposed to being at home and getting the content. Yeah, it's appointment viewing. Yeah. Yeah. It's like appointment viewing. Yeah. So for me, I think that is a industry that I've grown up in. I've started my career in that industry and I thought that my film um, should have a theatrical release. But I still gave that option. But I think somewhere the producers also garnered that fame during when they saw my passion, saw the film and they said that no Rani, 
we want to go with your passion we want to go with your confidence and we will be and i feel that is applaud worthy mm. because even after me telling them that they have the right to veto my contractual clause they still said that we will respect uh, the decision and we will have because we have faith in the film we will go for a theatrical especially z producers like they were uh, distributing the film they were uh, head headlining it z and m they both were hand in hand and i can only be very eternally grateful for them that they took the step and i can have to thank the audience that they came in big numbers to see my film so i'm grateful for uh, both the involvement of my producers and my audience so thank you audience but rani what do you think of streaming as uh, you know as as a as a medium today right? it's a it's a very vibrant medium many of your peers many of your colleagues many of your juniors are are working in both long form series and in films that are made straight for streaming is that something that, that interests you uh, of course i think any medium that uh, that has great content would always interest me because when i select a film i'm always looking for that one story that i want people to know mm. or it's a story that has not been given that much traction when it came a real life story or a story of an inspirational woman because i've always tried to portray strong women characters or uh, bring the strong indian woman on a global platform and tell people that here we are these this is what indian women are you know and through my career i've done that for the last 27 years so i'm always looking for that a uh, story or that subject or that character that drives me you know 